All right, thank you so much, Tavian. Here is the updated news, and you may be like, wait, what month is it? Newfound Gap Road is temporarily closed due to the forecast winter weather that's going to be moving into this area beginning in the next several hours. Yeah, some cars up there in the parking lot. Let me tell you, it is a chilly and very gusty day to be up there in the mountains. Now that the road is closed, once those cars leave, we'll see this parking lot empty and these high elevations could have a couple of inches of snow between now and Friday morning. We have a winter weather advisory issued for those higher elevations until 5 a.m. on Friday and that wintry weather could be beginning, like I said, in the next several hours as cooler air starts to move into the region by Friday morning. We could see anywhere from three to five inches of snow above about 4,000 feet in elevation. So that includes Newfound Gap, the LeConte Lodge, Clingman's Dome, all of those high elevation areas that unfortunately it looks like the roads are going to be closed. So you won't be able to access them, but we have some cameras that we will be showing you uh, for sure as that happens. Now you may be noticing a little bit of that light blue showing up on our plateau counties and in southeast Kentucky. Yes, you may see some flurries floating around. I don't think you're going to have much in the way of accumulation, but that's just a reminder as we go into April that these little cool spells can bring us some wintry weather for our dogwood winter that we're going to be experiencing. We've got scattered rain showers starting to move into the area right now, but as you heard Todd mention a little bit earlier, there are some tiny hail pellets or little bits of grapple, basically soft hail, included in some of these little showers throughout the evening. There's the snow. Now we're going into tonight and we start to see the thing, the activity kind of tapering off a little bit. It picks back up into Thursday morning. So Thursday morning, tomorrow morning, send us the videos if you see it up on our plateau counties, you could have snowflakes falling. Again, accumulation very unlikely except on maybe a rooftop of a car or something like that. Like that we continue to have those little showers moving through as we go through the day on Thursday and then finally by Friday morning we start to see things clearing out a little bit, but even that day might have a few sprinkles as well. Breezy showers expected tonight lows down into the mid to upper 30s to near 40 degrees tomorrow. Even cooler than today highs only in the upper 40s and low 50s and with more breezy winds and the off and on showers, it is going to be quite chilly for your Thursday. Definitely a good day to do indoor activities from there. Once the wind dies down, we could have frost on Friday, Saturday and Sunday morning, and then by Monday we're going to be talking about the forecast for that partial solar eclipse we'll see here in East Tennessee. For now, send it back out to uh, the rest of my weather team who are doing some projects out there in Union County.